Hi, this is Nick Vole of Vancouver Public Schools in Vancouver, Washington, demonstrating our custom-made Caspar CG client. Uh, we are doing football and soccer and other sports, and we needed something that would be more like a scoreboard-style uh, client as opposed to the regular Caspar CG client, um, which isn't quite as nimble. Uh, so we've gone ahead and made this. Um, I started it off with using uh, another person's design. Ulta Sports was what it was called for basketball. Um, I've pretty much changed everything about it, but it still gave me a good starting point. So thanks, thanks to that developer. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what it does. Um, well, first off, we've got two applications here, two clients. One is to control our actual score bug. That's what's going on in the ball game right now, score, clock, all of that. This other one over here is um, the client that controls all of our other uh, uh, graphics during, during the broadcast. So let's go ahead and set up like we would for a game. Um, first off, we need to pick our team. So our visitor in this case is Camus. Uh, their abbreviation is, they have the paper makers. You can see their abbreviation is CHS. I'm going to go ahead and pick the Camus logo. So when I select this, the visitor for the uh, home and uh, away, this is global, right? So everything that I do refers back to what I'm selecting right now. So it's going to be Skyview versus Camus is, is the football game we're going to have um, t today. So beginning of the uh, broadcast, we count it down and we, uh, we play our show open. So this is the video that we show to you know, start, our, start our broadcast. I'm going to stop that because I don't want to see the whole thing. Next up, we're going to show our matchup. So uh, we're going to go ahead and show our matchup there. You can see Camus Papermakers versus Skyview Storm, the date, where we're at. Um, it's hard to see that over there. There we go. Uh, stop that. Now, ball game has started. Um, so let's go ahead and show our score bug. Animates on, as you can see. We've got our team logos, our team names, and our score. Um, so. For football, you know, you've got downs and distance. So let's say, you know, Camus has the ball. It's now first and 10. So our yardage marker pops up when I show it. It gained two yards. So I'm going to change this real quick to second and eight. Now I'm going to update that so it shows up again. Now we know it's second and eight. This white space you see down here, uh, there is a clock. I built in a custom input for a camera to show our scoreboard clock. Uh, I don't have that hooked up right now, but when I do, it keys over the top of the graphic and I can show it. Um, let's say there's a flag in football, so we pop up our flag, flag goes away. Uh, all right, Camus scores a touchdown, so plus six. Our, notice our scoreboard automatically updates as soon as I hit that. Now they get the extra point. There we go. Skyview's kind of freaked out, let's say, because they just gave up a touchdown, so they're going to call a timeout, so we'll, we'll key our animation timeout so it shows who called the timeout. Now. They started off with three, they only have two left, so we take away a timeout from Skyview, timeout's over, the animation goes away. Um, let's pretend for a moment we want to show some special bit of information about a player. Let's go ahead and hide that. We can show our little pop-up there. We can put whatever we want in there, the names of the announcers or a player's name or whatever we need to show. And that keys down. We also have a... Um, well, that's somewhere else. I'll show you that. We, all have, we have another one that animates up top as well. <clears throat> all right, let's say for a moment now it's the end of the uh, quarter, so we're going to go ahead and hide our score bug. And we have two options then to toss to our commercial break or our end of quarter, so we can either show this little guy. kind of shows the score. Again, it's referring back to this whole panel here. Everything's tied to that. Um, so let's go ahead and hide that. I also have a slightly more formal one if we want to do that one. kind of animates on. It looks like that. Uh, it's up to the producer or director of that game, whatever they want to show. Um, we can also, within our score bug, second quarter's begun, I, but I haven't updated my, my quarter yet, so right down here I can change it to second, and it just automatically updates. Um, let's see. Let's go now to this other, this other application. Um, it is connected as well. So what I've got here is I've got basic full screen, which is just a full, full page graphic. Uh, I've got a stats and schedule tab over here, um, so I can show our game statistics. I can show our s upcoming broadcast schedule. Created uh, a full screens for these league standings. I've also 
created uh, lower thirds, which are kind of cool, and I'll show you those in a second, and then a league score. So we keep track of the league scoreboard from around the, the district, and we can keep track of, uh, we, can, we can put in the scores and, and animate them. So we'll go one by one, I'll show you what they look like. So first off, uh, for basic full screens, we have two choices. For all the full screens, we have two choices. We can either uh, key it over, over uh, the camera, so if I've got a beauty shot of the field or something, I, I can key it that way. Or if I don't have that, I can actually animate a looping background to, uh, to cover up the screen. So I've got a title, subtitle, and text. I also get to pick a logo. Um, so right now our generic one is Fort Sports, which is our broadcasting. But I could also pick a different team. So if I wanted to say, highlight something that Camus is doing, I'll choose the Camus logo. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So there's our full screen. You can see uh, there's a title, our subtitle, our text, and up in the right-hand corner, the Camus logo. And now I've gone ahead and hidden that. Um, I also have this. So our background animates, and it comes on, and our director can take it. Let's uh, key out of that. S stop it. Now, below, you'll also see, um, oops, you'll also see this preview button. Um, you can't see it on, this, this is a remote client, but if you're actually running this client on the um, same computer as your server, I've created a sep sep second, uh, separate consumer um, so you can actually preview your, your, what your graphic looks like right on your screen, but you can't see that in this view. Uh, our stats and schedule, I'm not going to go too deep into these, but you can kind of get the idea. Just, you know, a little full screen with stats and there's categories you can fill out. I have not filled them out. Standings, uh, the lower thirds though is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and show our score bug again. There's our score bug, the game's going on. Let's pretend I have some sort of stat I want to show you. Um, I can, I have a few choices. Let's say Camus, again, has uh, something going on. We want to key the coach. We're showing a picture of the coach. We can actually animate right over the top with a full uh, lower third, and we can take that away. If I just want to do some general information, I can change it to generic, show it it doesn't animate a logo, and it leaves our Ford Sports logo visible right there. Uh, and then, you know, league score is kind of the same thing, but it's pretty cool. Um, you can do full screens, and I've made it so you can actually choose. There, there's two multi-score graphics, full-page multi-score graphics, and you can pick. They can show up to four games each, so you can pick which games you want to show. Um, so I've just set up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We usually don't have more than that going on in the league, although I might need to change that. So I can show that. Um, either I can key that just like that over the top of nothing, but I probably wouldn't want to do that. Instead, what I'll do is I will um, show my background and then key, key those over the top of that. Um, it's hard when it's on the same screen for me to do that at the same time, but um, you can see what I'm saying. So uh, and then there's also, we've also set it up so we can uh, animate a lower, th a third style graphic. Um, which I've got to fill out. So let's say the game starts at five, or let's say it's the first quarter. There's two minutes left. There's team A, team B. It's 21 to 20. So let's go ahead and show that. Team A, team B, 21, 20. Two minutes left. Um, in these little boxes here, I can choose which of the games I want to highlight with this single. So let's say I want to do number two. And I haven't filled that out, but you can see it, it simply and quickly changes um, which game we're showing. I've also made this available in a full screen mode where it's a much larger single game highlight. Uh, finally, from this, uh, you can also do a top third graphic, which I'll key right here. Just in case you have a little, a little, uh, you know, thing you want to show. Now you can see down here I've got this, this, these, these uh, graphics. I didn't clear my score bug, um, so I've also created buttons to clear all, just in case I get into trouble and I forget to do something. I can quickly and easily clear out um, what I've done, and that is more or less what our score bug does. Um, we've also made one for soccer, but it's it's very similar. Um, and if you have any questions, you can feel free to contact me. Um, my email address is nick.vol at vansd.org. I'd be glad to share this with people, um, the, the software itself. Uh, I, I can't customize it for you, obviously, but, but uh, I'm glad to share.
So thank you.